Hey guys, today I have a video for you on this Nanda Zoo Smart Vehicle Health Monitor. So let's take a look at it. Basically, this is the packaging it comes in. It comes with the device itself and then obviously the instruction manual. It's a pretty nice packaging. It tells you a little bit about what it does. If we just take a quick skim here. Obviously, it's a code reader. It plugs into your OBD2 on your car. So it's pretty self-explanatory, really. You can read engine codes. You kind of get a quick mileage dashboard kind of thing. You get the safety center, which just kind of looks at your engine and how it's performing. Then you have a mileage log. And then obviously it's available in the App Store or Google Play. So pretty much you can use it on any device as long as it's iOS 8 or Android 4.3. So pretty much you're covered there. The device here is a very lightweight, uh, nice sleek looking device. Very low profile, so it shouldn't really stick out or be annoying or anything. Obviously, the OBD2 connection right there, and then you have a little bit of a uh, LEDs right there just to let you know it's running and it's connected, and that's pretty much all for that. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at the actual device and how it functions on my vehicle. The first step you're going to want to do is obviously locate your OBD2 port. And if you don't have it, if you don't have it memorized or you don't know where it is, it's usually underneath this uh, little panel here underneath the steering, obviously. It's usually about here. Sometimes it's on the side. Sometimes it's on the passenger side. If you don't know, look in your owner's manual or just a quick Google search and you should be able to find it. For me, it is right under here. Let's take a quick look here. You can obviously see it. So we're just going to go ahead and plug it in. And it's as easy as that, and then it can start connecting. Okay, so I just opened up the Zeus app on my phone, and then setting it up is very easy. Then again, just follow the instructions if you can't. And then pretty much you can scan, obviously, and we'll just check the, uh, the couple items here. Basically, it just lets you know whether or not it is communicating and uh, if there's any codes on it, obviously. So you can run the quick scan and then we can check for the actual codes here. So you can see I have a couple codes obviously that I haven't cleared. If we just go ahead and click this one, it tells you the causes and possible solutions and then just a quick uh, description of how it works and what it might cause to your vehicle. It tells you when the code was activated so it is pretty helpful. I think that if you do have a code and you don't know what it is and you want to learn a bit about it, this is a very, a very easy and user-friendly way of doing this, whether you keep it in your glove box for whether you get a code or something like that, it's just a great little uh, device to have handy. So if we take a look at the live diagnostics here, you can see basically what it's just telling you, a rundown of your current miles per hour and then your, your top speed, obviously, your top uh, rev for your vehicle, your top boost if your car is obviously equipped with the turbo, your uh, current rev, pollutions per minute, your uh, current pounds per square inch, your current load on the engine and your current coolant temperature. So basically just the average kind of monitoring here. It is kind of funky. I don't know what it's doing. The vehicle is at a standstill and it is currently moving up and down. I mean, I only see this happen the odd time, but obviously it's not entirely accurate. And then it just tells you whether or not your vehicle is efficient. I guess this is kind of like a efficiency tester. I don't really know how exactly it works, but it tells you just your efficient time, your idling time. I guess whether or not you're just, you know, obviously braking really hard, accelerating really hard, and that will kind of tell you you're not being so efficient. So it's a basic little rundown here, and it tells you kind of, you know, just a little bit about your driving. Pretty self-explanatory. So now that you've got a quick rundown of how it works and what it does, I guess you can see whether or not it's worth it for you. Honestly, it's a great little device for someone who doesn't know a whole lot about this stuff because it's very easy to use in the way that you can just plug it in, download the easy to use app, look up your code, and then it tells you the causes, the symptoms of it, and the potential solutions to fixing it, which I do understand that this device is quite a bit more expensive than a traditional Bluetooth cheapo OBD scanner, which will read your codes and clear your codes just like this. But this does have a much easier user interface and it does make it easier for people who do not know a whole lot about this other than they have a check engine light, they want it to go away, they want to see what it is, and that's pretty much all. But it's a great little device. It tells you lifetime data about your vehicle, whether or not that's useful for you, you can decide. 
basically the only thing it's truly missing is a live monitor and say a uh, fuel consumption but i know that's very hard to calculate over obd2 obviously but other than that i mean this device is pretty cool and i mean it does everything it needs to do so if you want to check it out on amazon and potentially buy it i will have a link in the description as always any questions comments concerns you can leave them in the comments and uh, that's pretty much all for this video thank you to nanda for providing this for a review and uh, see you guys later